Welcome to Grace Lutheran Church online service from Hastings, Michigan. We're glad you could join us this day. Wanted to share a few brief mission minutes with you. Thank you to those who provided 39 luminaries for our wonderful Relay to Life walk. And we are thankful for that opportunity to see such beauty that was there. Wanted to also share with you that we continue to prepare now for our crop walk. We hope that you're able to sign up for that and be a part of that wonderful event. That's on October 13th. That concludes the verbal messages for right now. We hope that you enjoy worship at this time. The Lord be with you. It is good for us to come and know that we are welcomed as children of God. Each of us have been invited to know this grace and know this love that comes to us each and every day. I uh, wanted to invite you to pick up your grace gram. They're available for pickup. It saves us a little, uh, well, we're not saying little anymore. We're saying, you know, anything over 50 cents isn't little anymore. So. Uh, it will save us some money, so I invite you to pick those up, and I'll remind you again at the end of worship. Let us gather together for our gathering music.
I invite us to arise in body or spirit for the opening sentences found on page two of our worship folder. Come, let us celebrate. Let us rejoice. Let us give God the glory. For the Lord our God reigns. Hallelujah. All angels come and worship you, holy God. Holy, holy, holy God. You are the beginning, the present, and all that is to come. All colors and races give hearty praise. Let us share your love.
Spirit be with you all. And my soul with you. Let's pray. O oh God, our teacher and guide, you draw us to yourself and welcome us as beloved children. Help, Help us to lay aside all envy and selfish ambition, that we may walk in your ways of wisdom and understanding as the of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior. first reading is from Jeremiah chapter 11. A reading from Jeremiah. It was the Lord who made it known to me, and I knew, and I knew then you showed me your evil deeds. But I was like a gentle lamb led to the slaughter, and I did not know it was against me that they devised schemes, saying, Let us destroy the tree with its fruit. Let us cut him off from the land of the living so that his name will no longer be remembered. But you, O Lord of hosts, who judge righteously, who try the heart and the mind, let me see your retribution upon them. For to you I have committed my cause. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. gentle, 
willing to yield, full of mercy and good fruits. Thou trace of partiality or hypocrisy, and a harvest of righteousness is sown in peace for those who make peace. Those conflicts and disputes among you, where do they come from? Do they not come from your cravings that are at war within you? You want something and do not have it, so you commit murder. And you covet something and cannot obtain it, so you engage in disputes and conflicts. You do not have because you do not ask. You ask and do not receive because you ask wrongly in order to spend what you get on your pleasures. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. teaching his disciples, saying to them, The Son of Man is to be betrayed into human hands, and they will kill him. And three days after being killed, he will rise again. But they did not understand what he was saying, and were afraid to ask him. Then they came to Capernaum, and when he was in the house, he asked them, What were you arguing about on the way? They were silent, for on the way they had argued with one another who was the greatest. He sat down, called the twelve, and said to them, Whoever wants to be first must be last of all and servant of all. Then he took a little child and put it among them, and taking it in his arms, he said to them, Whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes not me, but the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Christ. My friends, I come sharing a good news story for we're able to welcome this cactus plant among us because my daughter welcomed it into her room a couple years ago while she was walking around and meandering through. She noticed this plant and it was abandoned. It was really jiggly, so the name of it is Jiggly. She welcomed it, and now, as you can see, it's a flourishing, beautiful cactus. We are to welcome others in our lives, everyone. When Anna took the cactus in, she could have ignored it or not taken it in, and it would probably be dead. But because she took care of it, and nurtured it, it came back to strong life. And it's now not so jiggly. We see this happening in our lives all the time where people take time to care for one another. May we be ones who welcome children into our lives, no matter what the age. Let us pray. Dear God, help us welcome one another. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See you next week. Thanks for coming. Grace, mercy, peace from the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit who comes and welcomes each and every one of us. Amen. The parents of one rowdy little boy were trying to decide what to give him for his birthday. The father of the young man suggested a bicycle. Mom asked hopefully, do you think that perhaps that will improve his behavior. I doubt it, said his dad realistically, but
but at least it will spread his bad behavior on a wider level. Children can be a delight, but they also can be disruptive. They look at life so differently. One mother who was expecting her third child tells how her two children were suggesting names for the baby. Well, if it's a boy, the oldest said, can we name him John? Maybe, the mother said. Well, if it's a girl, she went on, can we name her Mary? Perhaps. Finally, the youngest child, anxious to prove her intelligence, piped up. Well, if it's a dog, can we name him Lassie? Aren't children great? Jesus, welcoming the little children in today's Gospel read me, reading, made me think about children and the way we, as a society, treat children. It is estimated that 2.4 million children are physically abused every year. They are kicked, punched, beaten, stabbed, and at times even shot. Save the children, Lord. Save the children. UNICEF estimates that there are 40 million children living on the streets around the world. 40 million. That's about the combined population of California and New York. These children are working at jobs selling papers, shining shoes to escape poverty and hunger. They live in doorways, under bridges, even in junk cars. Then there are those displaced by war. How our hearts ache for the children of God who are running from bombs in Gaza. While we also see many mothers and fathers holding the dead body of a young child. It's a dangerous world out there for God's children. Of course, not all hurts are physical. Every year, two million kids in this country discover their parents are getting divorced. And that hurts as well, as many of us know. It's a dangerous world out there for God's children. That's a harsh truth for all of us to confront. We as Christians are responsible for all children, no matter what the age. This is a spiritual principle given to us when Jesus raised the children in the midst of his disciples, saying, Whoever receives one such child in my name receives me, and whoever receives me receives not me, but the one who sent me. We have a responsibility to God's children. What are our responsibilities to God's children? They are twofold. First of all, it is to provide them with a safe world. That's basic, isn't it? They deserve a safe, secure world. Unfortunately, we are not doing so well with this responsibility. Suppose, for example, our world's current climate change. We know the rainforests are disappearing at an annual rate equal to the size of Pennsylvania. The loss of rainforest results in an increase of carbon dioxide. This is causing average temperatures to rise. We are living in the hottest year of recorded history. Will the polar ice caps continue melting and the oceans soon begin rising even more than they are? Will there be extensive droughts as the experts suggest that we cannot recover from? Each year the world's deserts grow by as much as 6,000 square miles. We don't know what the future holds, but we are talking about these things that are occurring in our lifetimes, right here, right now. Will we so despoil the planet with our greed that we and our children will be the unintended victims? There is a Kenyan proverb that goes like this, treat the earth well. It was not given to you by your parents. It was loaned to you by your children. We are called to love the children of God. We are to provide a safe and secure world for all people. Do we think that our children will be spared the problems of the growing crime rate? 
Do we think that the continuing threat to political unrest throughout the world will not affect us and our children? I think about that. There is a short-sightedness on the part of many people today, a stinginess, even a mean-spiritedness that says, as long as I get mine, who cares about the future? But what about all of God's children? We owe them a safe and secure world. We also owe them a safe and secure home. When mom and dad cannot or are not able to provide a home, I have seen grandparents come in and provide this loving, caring environment for them. Children, all children need to know that someone will always be there for them. They need to know that they are recognized and special. If that means that we delay or even discard some of our own dreams, if that means we make some extra sacrifices, if that means we sometimes grin and bear it through a difficult situation, so be it. Their welfare comes first. God loves all children, and that means you. We can't be kept from making mistakes. We can't be kept from ourselves making wrong decisions. All we can do is give ourselves a place, a space, an environment that shares God's love with one another as best as we can. Sisters and brothers in Christ, it is a dangerous world out there, but we can make it safer. We can provide every child with a safe world and a secure home. Remember, Jesus said, whoever receives one such child in my name receives me, and whoever receives me receives not me, but God who sent me. Thank God for children. Let us always do right to all God's children. Let us love. Let us share our wealth. Let us give our support to all God's children. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>
you welcome all at your table of grace. Instill in your church a spirit of humility and curiosity, that we embrace all who seek you. We pray especially for ministries of hospitality and faith formation, and the larger church, bishops Elizabeth and Craig, assistants Chrissy and David, our synod companion, Bethlehem Lutheran Church of Traverse City, Faith Bible Church, Lake Odessa, Faith United Methodist Church, Delton, Minister of Music, Cindy, and Pastor Ken. Hear us, O God. Creating God, you shape the world so there is more than enough for all. Curb our habits of overuse and guide us toward more sustainable sources of energy, food, and water. Hear us, O God. Gracious God, your peace brings justice and solidarity. Encourage peace among peoples, tribes, and nations. Heal divisions in our country and local communities that together we might cooperate for the good of all. Be with those who safeguard the world, including Parker Stancil, Cody and Marina Crawford, Cynthia Rudisill, Joel Taggart, Julia Eric, Seth Donkey, and Nathan Schick. Hear us, O oh God. Faithful God, we draw near to you all who are need. Bring healing and wholeness to all who suffer including the family of Patty Kampf, Bob Ravone family, Tammy Rodriguez, and Cynthia Hansen. We pray especially for Pastor Michael Anton, Mark Ahrens, Dennis Barson, Veronica Barson, Bob Bolton, Frank Bolton, Chris Bush, Cherie Clements, Pat DePue, Kim Donkey, Bonnie Errett, Magdalena Garcia, Ruby Gibbons, Opal Gillens, Lisa Golnick, Caitlin Haven, Martha Music, Don McElgin, James Niederheiser, <coughs> Lisa Nuremberg, <coughs> the family of Linda Olson, Shirley Peterson, Kathy Politis, Patty Wren, Jennifer Rohr, <coughs> Cynthia Rudisill, Mike Shoemaker, Ron Smith, Deb Talisman, Al Fruit, George Ulrich Jr., Jeanette Ulrich, and Brenda Watson. Transform economic, political, and social systems that oppress vulnerable people, especially systems of structural racism and generational poverty. Hear us, O oh God. Transforming God to accompany all through changes and transitions. Help us to see where you are calling this community to new ways of living the gospel promise. Assure us that even as change brings loss, it also brings hope and life. Hear us, O oh God. At this time, you may offer up your own prayers. surgery for lymphoma. Lord, I thank you for a wonderful vacation with my husband and sister and brother-in-law out west. I've never been in the vastness. It was amazing. But I appreciate even more that there's not only no place like home, but the safety of this small church. And although we are small, we are strong, and I appreciate all of you. Merciful God, you embrace us on our final pilgrimage from this life. Accompany all who have died, console those who mourn, and at the last, show us the way to eternal life in you. Hear us, O oh God. We entrust these and all our prayers to you, holy God, in the name of your beloved child, Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. I invite you to arise in the body of the Spirit. The peace of Christ be with you. Let us share a sign of Christ's peace. <laughs> 
with each other.
God. You alone are holy. You alone are God. The universe declares your praise beyond the stars, beneath the sea, within himself, with every breath. We praise you, O God. Generations bless your faithfulness through the water by night and day, across the wilderness, out of exile, into the future. We bless you, O God. We give you thanks for your dear Son at the heart of human life, near to those who suffer, beside the sinner, among the poor, with us now. We thank you, O God. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat, this is my body, given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, gave her all the drink, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood. Shed for for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in remembrance of me. Remembering Christ's love for us on the way, at the table and to the end, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ is died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. We pray for the gift of your Spirit in our group gatherings within this meal among your people throughout the world. Blessing, praise, and thanks to you, Holy God, through Christ Jesus, Holy Spirit, in your church, without end. Amen. Gathered by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Come to the banquet, for all now is ready. Thanks be to God. given for you.
there are many mission minutes that have greater detail that I am never going to speak at this point, but you're welcome to add your voice to those if I have missed them or you can think of a highlight that needs to be emphasized. Grace grams are ready for your pickup. All Saints Day, if you have someone that you have beloved to your heart, you can put their name down and something that you love about them that allows us to understand a little further of who they are in our lives as they continue to live in God's grace and kingdom. Next week, reminder that we have one service, so uh, don't miss it. Um, don't come at 1045. We'll be here for communion, but, um, <laughs> you know, you'll, you'll be a little late. Uh, 915 is our adult forum time for that day. Candy for trunk or treat can be brought in. Thank you for those who are already bringing it in. And Lakewood Area Choral Society has a concert today at 3 p.m. at Pleasant Valley United Brethren Church. We hope that you can support that and you are invited to do so. Are there other details that someone would love to highlight? Mm -hmm. Hi, Bill. Hi. Our annual heritage meal is going to be coming up on October 27th after the 10 45 a.m. service. We encourage you to go back to the uh, sign up sheet and list, list your intentions about coming and what you might bring. Thanks. Any others? Game night was good. We even had pizza, even though we were planning on pizza. Someone brought pizza to share with us or snack. Love it. I invite us to uh, arise and body your spirit for the blessing. Be strengthened with the power of God, the love of Christ, and the help of the Holy 